This is a 98 Ford Mustang, 4.6 in it. I was checking the fuel pressure on it. And it holds fuel pressure for a while, and then the fuel pressure just drops off. Like the fuel pump quits running. It's had a couple of fuel pumps put in it, supposedly. I figure that's a problem in there. I mean, some wire splicing going on. I think this yellow wire runs a fuel pump and red wire powers the computer. The inner fender is missing. There's duct tape on the CCRM module. And all the road grinds hitting the modules, that's not good on it. The yellow wire's got a splice on it. The yellow wire is a fuel pump power supply. Got a little bit of fenders. Let's see what's happening here. I had a bolt stuck in a Schrader port, so I had an old fuel Ford fuel rail laying around. Put a new Schrader port in it. Took this bolt out of it. much volume either. There it goes. like that and then it comes back on after it shuts off. Weird. Uh, I gotta find out what's shutting that thing off. That's why it's timing out, I don't know. power on a fuel pump. I took this constant control relay module out of the inner fender. Brought the wire harness inside here. Uh, the cover is duct tape. I see all kinds of mud on the computer board down in there. And the board's twisted. That can't be good. It's just all kinds of mud down in there. duct tape. That yellow wire pin 5 supplies power to the fuel pump relay. It's been spliced into. Pin 18 is the ground from the computer. Pin 18 is on this side of the screw next to the two dead terminals. 
pin 18 and the wire collar is is mud. Oh, I don't know. That's the first wire there around the screw. Some kind of blue with orange tracer on it, maybe. Blue with an orange tracer. And check it out. Now what I'm doing here is accessing pin 5 under this cover since the cover's already off of it. You could stick a pin in this dark green and with an orange tracer and measure it. The fuel pressure is dropping off suddenly. I'm going to just count one, two, three, four, five. Fuel pump relays off. And watch the fuel pressure drop and see if the test light goes off. That's on the fuel pump power supply. Fuel pump still getting powered on. This has that two speed fuel pump in it instead of a pulsed speed control because it's got that resistor out there in the inner fender. Now the, this is a low speed relay. The contacts are normally closed and that supplies a full 12 volts to the fuel pump. And then the computer opens these contacts to go on low speed. And that's what's happening when this goes on low speed, the car dies. So I'm going to jumper that resistor assembly out under the hood with a jumper wire and see if it stays running. If it does, I'll have to put a resistor assembly in it. When the computer opens the contacts on that relay, this resistor is wired in line with the fuel pump and it diverts through it, which cuts the speed down on a pump. And the inner fender has a porcelain horseshoe resistor. I think it, I think it runs off of that on normal conditions and then under high load conditions it kicks up. Uh, I'm going to clean that out. I don't know if there's a resistance value on that, that the car's going to this resistor and then shutting off over it, the resistor being open. And I've got the lead stuck in that resistor and it's on 200,000. That's what I'm getting out of it. That's 20,000 ohms. Resistance is so high on that thing, it's probably just measuring the dirty water that's embedded in it. So, I'm going to bypass the terminals on that resistor just to verify that the resistor is bad, even though with the reading this high on the ohms, it's pretty much open. turns out that this fuel pump resistor is an obsolete part. Although I'd seen a 2000 Ford Lightning pickup has the same thing and a 95 to 99 
Taurus, the cooling fans use the same deal to control the cooling fan speed. The water intrusion looks like it's aided up. find a used one somewhere. I got a used resistor. This used resistor measured six ohms. And it has 14 volts going into it. And 12.8 coming out of it. So that's the uh, volt point two drop. It's not much of a change. I don't know if that's even worth worrying about. Reads at the battery. Fourteen point twenty nine at the battery. Yeah. Till they get an inner fender, I'm just gonna mount this stuff in here. Let's see how hot this thing gets. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty warm. It's probably 100, I'll say it's 110 degrees. We're no longer what it's been running. 